Tottenham are all set to move into their new stadium after successfully hosting two test events at the ground. The second of those test events saw Tottenham Legends team consisting of the likes of Robbie Keane, Jurgen Klinsmann, David Ginola, and Paul Gascoigne take on their Inter Milan counterparts on Saturday afternoon. The game ended 4-3 to the visitors, and all the legends who played at the stadium, as well as the 50,000 fans in attendance, raved about the venue, with many calling it the best in the world. Former Inter midfielder Juan Sebastian Verón, who was involved in the game, has suggested that the stadium will help Spurs attract top stars and thus build a great team. Speaking to the Mirror, Verón said, Now I think he has a good infrastructure, so the position of the club for the players is good. You have good atmosphere, good infrastructure so now I think for the next years it's positive for the players. Now they've finished the stadium and the training ground, I think it's to build a good team to win something in the future. Former Spurs striker Robbie Keane, who scored in the match on Saturday and gave the fans another chance to witness his iconic celebration, also raved about the venue and commended Daniel Levy for the job he has done. The Irishman said, Tottenham attract players anyway just because of the manager, the players they have and how well they play football. But when a player walks into the stadium and sees this, and sees the training ground they have, it's a no-brainer. Daniel Levy's done an absolutely remarkable job from day one, since I've been at the club, and even until now I stay in touch with him all the time. He's been phenomenal, what he's achieved at this club. Now the next question I ask is, how are you going on to go on from there? How are you going to win trophies, but they have everything with the infrastructure now, absolutely everything. They have the players, they certainly have the manager, they've got the training ground, the magnificent stadium say it's a club that's definitely on the up and that's really down to Daniel Levy, 